Kids. This is Lady Kit with Kitsuga Gaming. Um, we're here today to cover the crashing issues that Subnautica is having. So, if you know anything about me, you know that I love Subnautica. I play a lot of it. Probably a little borderline obsessive. A little bit. Um, but it's having major crashing issues and that has become a major frustration because I play, it crashes, I play, it crashes. Um, so I went into Dr. Google and Dr. Google sent me to the discussion forum in Steam where I probably should have started off. Um, and we found a solution. Yay! Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it because you do have to go into the program files and that can be scary. So we're going to actually show you a visual. I've got my monitor up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing you need to do is actually go into your file explorer. Um, once you get in here, you can go into your PC and your local disk. Okay, so your disk C, your hard drive. Um, and you're going to see these two program files folders and you want the x86. Why? I don't know. I just know that's where you're supposed to go. So we click on that and you see all sorts of stuff when you're looking for Steam because you probably downloaded it through Steam so it's going to be in the Steam folder. And inside the Steam folder there's more folders. There's going to be a lot of folders guys lots of folders. So the Steam apps is where you're going to find more folders and common, so your common folder is going to be where you actually see names you might recognize, your games. Um, so you scroll down and you find Subnautica because that's what we're fixing, right? Double click on that and there's more folders. Surprise, surprise. All right, so you want this SN app data file right here. If you click in that, you see this magical folder that says your saved games. Yay, we're getting there. Okay, so if you double click on that, you'll see options and then you'll see slot and a number. And that slot with a number, you might see more than one of them. That's your save. Each one of those is a saved game. So if you double click on your saved game, we're actually where we need to be. Finally! Yay! Okay. I talk with my hands, guys. Sorry. Um, so, your cells cache and compiled octrays cache, whatever you wanna, however you want to pronounce that, that's weird. But um, you'll notice that they have, both have the word cache in there. Um, what really needs to happen is the game needs to be deleting these each time, but it's not. So it's just creating files that are huge. So um, this is what's causing the crashes is your computer just can't compute all that. So um, deleting these shouldn't affect your game. It won't affect your save. It's just cache data. Um, stuff that's used, it's supposed to speed up the process, but it doesn't because there's too much of it. Each time you go back in and play, it adds more, and it adds more, and then it crashes. It gets to the point where it crashes if you move. <laughs> Literally, got to that point. Um, so if you're not comfortable just flat out deleting, what you can do is create a temporary file. So I'll show you how real quick. Just create a new folder. Right? Do what I want. Computer. There we go. And go. Boop. And boop. And it's gone. Right? So then you can go in, play your game, make sure it works, and then just delete that new folder that you created. Um, or if you're like me and you've done it before and you know it works, I'm just going to delete it. Bam. Done. Alright, so that's how you fix Subnautica's crashing issues for now. Hopefully the devs will come up with a more permanent solution that won't require routine maintenance from us users. Um, but until then, when you see, start to see the game slowing down, or having lag issues, or you know if you just want to do it every couple of times you play, 
it's a good idea. Just go in and do that. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or you can find me on the Kitsuga Discord. Because I'm always there. It's on my phone. Yeah. Alright. Have a good day, guys. Bye!